Hollandale, Mississippi, and we were at the home of a member of one of the royal families of the blues, Sam Chapman. The Chapman family was here when the blues began, almost a hundred years ago. They helped to make them and popularize them. And when you think about it, it was almost a miracle that occurred then, deep in the heart of the Delta. I stood at the station, watching my woman leave town. Oh, I felt so disgusted, didn't know what she was bound. But how long, oh, how long, baby, how long? I wish I could holler, lies of mine and Jack. I'd go up on the mountain, call my woman back. But how long, oh, how long? Baby, how long? I was raised at a place at Bolden, this side of Jackson, coming towards Vicksburg. So uh, my daddy, he was a slave at time man. He was in the Civil War. He said he killed so many men till they didn't have no bridge to cross. Said he'd take men and throw them in the, in the branch and creek till they could dry the wagons on clothes. And said the old old ladies, old colored ladies, uh, they would always uh, be the one to take care of the young kids. And they had holes in the trough to mix uh, bread and stuff up in so the children could eat. Kid would eat in a trough. Yeah, eat in a trough, just like pigs. You know, my daddy told me all these things, and I don't forget them. He worked in, in the field a while, but he played music in slavery time. Had him and old man Milton Bracer for the fiddle player. Do you remember any of the tunes he played to you? Yeah, I remember practically all of them. All of them is just old things about can't get the saddle on no old gray mule and little Liza Jane. What you? What you? When they do that, they say, everybody promenade to the bar. All the men would carry, carry uh, ladies to the bar and give them drinks. After a while, they'd get ready and start back again on something else. He's a country man and he just done moved a town. He's a country man and he just done moved a town. He's a country man, he just done moved a town. He done sold his cotton, now he is walking round. Just make him down a pallet on your floor. Just make him down a pallet on your floor. Just make him down a pallet on your floor. And send him back to the field so he can raise some more. Oh, yeah, baby, just make me down a pat it on your floor. You had a whole musical family, didn't you? Sisters and brothers and mom and all of us played. Yeah, all of us played the whole family. When we get through with us crops, lay them by in June or July, we'd all get together and take a tour all up through Memphis, Chicago, and different places like that. When was that? What period? That was in, uh, in 28 and 29. In Chapman, we meet a real professional, and that was characteristic of the blues very early. It was a chance for the talented uh, black musicians of the Deep South to become professional, and in doing so, they made a transform of folk music into something that could live and grow in an urban setting. And the Chapman family was very important in all this, as he'll tell us. 
Peter Chapman up here in Memphis. They call him Memphis Slim. That's one of my sister's boys. And if you ever heard Charlie Patton? Yeah. Well, Charlie Patton, my brother. Charlie Patton and others in the Chapman connection were among the first to record the blues. Sugar Blues was one of the early commercial ones. Everybody singing the sugar blues, the whole town is ringing. I love my coffee, I love my tea, but the doggone sugar blues sour on me. I'm feeling lonesome. I'm feeling bad, ain't got no time to lose. You say what you please and do what you choose. I got those sugar blues, sweet sugar, a sweet sugar blues. We have to remember that it was through the blues that, and through jazz that open and frank eroticism has come into all of our lives. It was that way. Uh, George Bernard Shaw and Margaret Sanger and others could rant and rave, <laughs> but it was Bessie Smith that tore the curtain down. <laughs> Well, he stung me this morning. I've been looking for him all day long. Well, I can't stand here, my bumpy. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Come on in this house, Bumma Bee. Stop your fuss. You know you're my Bumma Bee. You really know your stuff. Now I just ain't no bummer be till you stand under. Yeah, I always keep the blue. <laughs> the blue stays with me. That's my daily occupation. <laughs> the blues, I go to bed with them, I get up with them. 